fire broke out in a power transformer under the Blue Cross Blue Shield building shortly before 3 o'clock. The electrical fire was soon sending billowing clouds of greenish black smoke skyward. Several hundred people were evacuated from the building as firemen feared larger explosions might occur. Small blasts were heard going off underground, and it was feared for a while the blasts might send fire further up into the building. The only injury reported, though, was of a man who fell while leaving the building. His injuries were not serious. The electricity went off inside the building right after the first explosion. One circuit did remain on, and fortunately, it was over a stairway used by those inside to flee the building. Other buildings in the area were also ordered closed to get people away from the vicinity. The crackling underground grew in loudness. Greenish flames were soon belching from manholes, and police sealed off the area from pedestrians and traffic. Firemen waited for the power to be shut off, then went at the flames with dry powder and later foam. The smoke subsided somewhat at that point, and it was felt the worst was over, though the evacuation of other nearby downtown buildings continued. City Fire Prevention Chief Don Bollinger said that a preliminary investigation showed a probable cause for the fire was a workman's jackhammer that pierced a temporary power line leading to the new Blue Cross building. Bollinger said that was not definite, but said the trouble started soon after smoke was seen curling out from around the jackhammer. A workman using the hammer was employed by the F&F Construction Company doing work in the area for Indiana Bell. Spokesman for the Power and Light Company indicated later this afternoon that power is expected to be restored to all areas involved by early evening with the evacuees back in their offices immediately. Bill Crafton, Channel 8 News.